I'm doing competition math, and in this problem, we are asking in how many ways can six juniors and six seniors form three disjoint teams of four such that each has two seniors and two juniors at least. Now, it may help to draw three boxes and think about the fact that in each box, we're going to put two seniors and two juniors, two seniors, two juniors, so on, so on. And so we now want to think about all of the ways that from the pool of six, let's say, juniors, we're going to select or choose two of them to go into the first team. So that can be done in six choose two ways. Now, once those two have been selected, we move on to the next box. There are four people left. We choose two of them to go into the second team. And then uh, at that point, there's only two left. So the remaining two must go into the final team. That's what we do for juniors. But then we do it again for seniors. So we just square that result. Now, where I think a lot of people are going to get tricked a little bit here is that... Um, this is pretending as if there's a team one, team two, team three, and like if the, you know, somebody went into team one, you could tell the difference between that and going into team two. Well, we don't have that, right? These teams are not labeled, so putting, you know, someone here is indistinguishable from putting them there, so we need to divide by all ways of rearranging the teams, right? And so since there are three teams, then there are three factorial ways of rearranging the teams. So we divide by three factorial. So we go ahead and start crunching these numbers. Six choose two is 15. It's good to know that one off the top of your head, but if you have to work it out, you could write six factorial on top, two factorial, four factorial on bottom. It's nice because the six factorial and the four factorial mostly cancel, leaving a six times five on top, six times five over two. So just do three times five is 15. Okay. Uh, four choose two, you want to know that one's just six off the top of your head. And then three factorial is six, so we're, uh, we're up to that point. Now let's go ahead and say, well, a factor of six on top and a factor of six on bottom cancel, leaving only 15 squared times six. You can compute that however you like, but I think the way I'm going to prefer to do it is to take a 15 and a factor of two, put them together, get 30, leaving... Uh, 15 times 3, and that is going to be 45. Now, from there, I just have to compute 3 times 45, so 3 times 5, 15, carry the 1, 3 times 4 is 12. Add the 1, get 13, so then put the 0 on the end, and the answer is 1350.